Hey, Miss Sherry Needles, oh, how are you? Uh, I'm on top of the world, girl. I feel drop dead gorgeous. And you are, because oh. look at you. You look like the Statue of Liberty oh. via Hollywood. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is, you know, I don't get to spend a lot of time in Hollywood. I reside in Pittsburgh, Transylvania. So, uh, you know, I loved, I loved an opportunity to dress like old dead Hollywood. Woo. Now, how do you fly from there? A broom. Of course, of course. You wouldn't have it any other way. Uh-uh. First class on my broom. Now, I have to say, you were one of my favorites when I saw the little video introduction of you. Tell us, how are people going to perceive you on the show? Is the bitch, the weirdo, the American sweetheart? You know, um, I, 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 I'm obsessed with looking beautiful, but my idols are not beautiful drag queens. And I take a lot of inspiration from outside art and from bad drag and um, um, just from oddballs in general. So um, I think, I think I'll, I'll be perceived as inventive. You know, I took every challenge. Um, I, took, I looked at every challenge and I always wanted to find a way as how I could flip it for me and not the judges. And I knew if the judges saw me just be myself and not a puppet for them, then it would be uh, well received. So I, maybe I'll just be considered um, inventive or an idiot. <laughs> so who are some of your idols, some of your drag idols, and then maybe female icons? Um, yeah, I have so many idols. Um, Sharon Needles is basically based off of the um, the ditzy, over-glamorous um, stars of the 80s, like um, Peggy Bundy, Elvira, Rhonda Shear, Amanda Lepore, the glamorous Monique. Um, I also love, you know, you know, stars that, and like fashion idols that didn't give a fuck, like, like Lee Bowery and Divine and, um, you know, I, find, I just find inspirations in everything. I, ben Zatar Buto is an inspiration to me, so. So now, uh, we hear that Miss Elvira is one of the judges in the show, and you just mentioned that she's one of your favorites. How was it being judged by her or having her on the show? You know, um... Being in on RuPaul's Drag Race is such a weird experience that there were times where I wondered if I had died and I was in some weird limbo, some some weird place where I was being judged whether I was going to heaven or hell because when you have Elvira, Michelle Visage, Santino and RuPaul right in front of you judging you, it's so out of it's like an out-of-body experience so I mean I was just I was just humbled and I mean nothing's harder than trying to walk a runway and look as you know gun as possible with Elvira right there staring at you the bitch don't age <laughs> I know, it's crazy now what were you a fan before were you watching the seasons before you um, yeah I, I basically uh, reroute my career from the end of January to the middle of April around RuPaul's Drag Race. And yeah, every Monday at 10.20, so I can fast forward through the commercials, in the same lazy chair in the same living room for the last three years. I'm the biggest fan of RuPaul's Drag Race in the world. So That's why I went some be of your favorites, past, past contestants? You know, pre-being on this show, I had some favorites, but um, now after filming is wrapped up and I've gone back and watched the episodes, um, I worship any girl that's ever pounced that runway. I mean, I, I obviously have some favorites. Um, Tammy Brown is um, amazing. Is is one of the most amazing uh, performance artists I've ever seen. Um, um, I also was obsessed with the beauty of of Raven and the cartoonishness of Raven and um, the uh, the gothic um, the gothic, but yet so lovable. Um, um, Yara Sophia and um, um, Mimi, I'm first. You know insane looks. I, I mean, I, there's every every single queen that's ever walked that runway. I, I just, I have the hugest heart for it. I'm still starstruck when I see them. And now you're going to become one of uh, someone's favorite when they see you on the show. Right, right. That's a lot of pressure to take. And, um, you know, I never wanted to be responsible for anyone's life. I've always liked to consider myself, you know, kind of punk rock. And, you know, now given this opportunity, I do feel a slight amount of responsibility to these, to these kids because I'm getting emails every day that, you know, maybe the old me would say, you know, 
Who cares? You're a nerdy 16-year-old to go jump off a fucking bridge. And now I, I really feel this connection with these, with these kids because I remember how starstruck I felt watching this program. And you know, with all the kids out there that are watching right now, what do you want to tell them? Um, all I can say is that I love bad drag. So if anyone's ever called you a bad drag queen, I'm your biggest fan. And if you ever get booed off of a stage, that's just applause from ghosts. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Sharon Needles. Have fun in there. <laughs> I will. I need a cocktail. Hey, everybody. It's Sassy and Samara, and we are here live on the red pink carpet. Oh, my God. Pink carpet in West Hollywood with Willem. How are you doing, oh baby? Good. Pink like my puss. I'm literally getting texts from trade right now. Look at oh this. Look at this trash. Can't look at... Oh! And he just stopped letting us wear condoms. Woo! God bless. God bless the RuPaul Drag Race. Are you ready to uh, become a mother or what? Oh, I'm just a single mother trying to get back custody of her kids. Okay, oh, Ms. Willow. So, Ms. Willem, tell us how has your life changed so far, even before the show has aired? Well, I got free pizza at this one place and then um, I got free yogurt at another and a free hat and then I got a free dress and free shit. I like the free shit that's been coming my way since this show's been announced so yeah. Now, what about the boys? Are you single? Are you married? Or what's going on? Are you getting laid more? I am married. I am married uh, four years California legally um, and yeah he should be here somewhere. Somewhere in the mix, somewhere. Yeah, What's his name? His name is Bruce, and he's like, he'll probably be the tallest person here. He's 6'6". Six, six. Wow. Uh, yeah. Who's lucky, or you or Bruce? Uh, I don't know. He's kind of hung like a donkey. Oh, my. He looks we like love a, that. He looks like a Nazi, so I like him. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. How is your life going to change after the show airs? Uh, my life is going to change because I'll be on TV more and be getting paid less than usual. Because I've been on TV for years, but usually there's residuals involved and like, oh look, it's repeating again. That means I'm getting a check. Not on RuPaul Drag Race. It's a reality television program. And what I signed up for is, uh, it's kind of different for me. It's weird to let go of control and just like hope that like I turn out cute, you know? So tell us, how are people going to view you after this? Are you going to be the bitchy one? Are you going to be the comedic one? Are you going to be the nice one, America's sweetheart? One. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to portray me. I'm, I think I'm funny. I think I'm kind of cute. I think I got some body. So maybe it'll be a mix of all three of those. But I probably won't be called the nice one. <laughs> Just if you're a betting horse, I am not your sea biscuit for that one at all. Don't bet on me being nice. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about little baby drag queens at home that are watching this on the internet that um, are possibly thinking about doing drag or questioning their gender identity? Um, if you're questioning your gender identity, I would go to DeepStealth.com. It's a wonderful website for anybody that's wondering about that kind of stuff. And if you want to do drag, I would recommend purchasing a big bottle of Goo Gone because that is the only thing that will get tape adhesive off of my scrotum. And I will, I will readily endorse that. I hope I get a contract. So I hope. You're, you're more of a tape girl than a gaff girl. Did you see any panty line? Can you guess what color my panties are? Attic Woo. girl. That's nope. the way to do it. Nope. But I'm guessing pink. Well, if you look down, you'd see oh. you wrong. Censor for the children. We can't show that. It's PG. There was tape. No one cares. That's the way to do it. So good luck with luck? everything. Girl. I don't need luck. I need, what do fucking, you need? I need fucking magic. <laughs> good magic. I need Wiccan. Put it out there. Put it out the Give energy. me some voodoo. Okay. Sandinista bullshit. Where can everyone find you on the internet when they want to get your your stuff? Sure. You can find me on Adam for Adam. Um, at, oh, no, shit, sorry. You can find me on Willem Belli on Twitter. That's W-I-L-L-A-M-B-E-L-L-I. -L 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 or uh, official Willem fan page on Facebook. Not the shitty one. Not the shitty one. Not that shitty kitty one. Wikipedia put up some damn Facebook page about me. And it's not true. Well, you're a famous superstar. True? Is Wikipedia ever true? I don't know. I have dial up. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Nice See, to you. Be again, love See you again, ladies. Hey, everybody. It's Sassy, and we are here live in West Hollywood at the premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race. What is going on, lady? You look fantastic. I'm walking the pink carpet tonight, having a great time. The pink, and you match the pink. And color. I wore pink too. Yes. Yeah. It's like a signature color. What? 
Yes, let's go with that. We'll say signature. Why not? It's working for tonight. How are you so excited for the, the premiere? Ecstatic. I can't even describe to you how excited I am. Where are you from originally? Originally from Omaha, Nebraska, but I live in Chicago, Illinois now. Wow. Yeah. So are you, any plans to move after the show? Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see where it goes. I'm always open to anything. So, yeah. For so how did you get, get interested in drag and start doing drag? Oh my goodness. When I was 18, I went to my first show and I said, I can do that and I can do it my own way. And so I brought it that way. Yeah. What kind of music do you like to do? What, what are your interests? I love everything. Everything, everything, everything. And I literally, there's nothing that I won't do. Um, I, li I like to do boy songs. I like to do, um, like tonight, I'm going to be doing Florence and the Machine. Like, I live for Florence. Yeah. So, broad spectrum. Very broad spectrum. So, what was this experience like doing RuPaul's Drag Race? Intense. It was so intense. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how intense it was. Yeah. And it was a two week period of time? Oh, my goodness. No. Um, it was about a month, and we're still not even done. We still have a few things to film. Yeah. Are you filming it here in Los Angeles? It is filmed here in Los Angeles, yes. Do you love LA or how do you feel? I, you know, I, we got here yesterday and um, yeah, uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's a great city. Thank you so much. We're going to let you go inside. Anything you want to say to your fans real quick? Where can they find out more about you? Um, the dragprincess.com is your home and your base for myself. You can go to, my, it, uh, it'll link you to my Twitter, to Facebook, to everything. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Good night.